Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth to rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf of you brothers and sisters, Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spread and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai as commanded. And today's lesson is going to be entitled, The Devil is the Accuser of the Brethren. Okay, once again today's title, okay, or the title for today's lesson is, The Devil is the Accuser of the Brethren. Okay, now, um, uh, contrary to popular belief, okay, uh, a lot of people when they hear this word, the devil, they they, they think it's um, some force underneath the earth with a, 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 a red spandex suit, okay, with a pitchfork, okay, with horns in his head, okay, <laughs> underneath the ground, okay, okay. Um, so to speak, in hell somewhere, which which <laughs> that underground hell doctrine is another uh, 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 myth, okay? Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, well, anyway, let's put it like this. It's, it's, it's unreal, okay? The devil being under the earth, okay, is unreal. Hell being under earth, meaning hell fire underneath the earth, Okay, where you burn forever, all of that is 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 unreal, it's untrue. Okay, uh, that's that's that goes back to Greek mythology and okay, those kind of things. They they are myths. Okay, but um, you hear the word devil. Okay, okay, it's uh, uh, it only means uh, slanderer or false accuser. Okay, slanderer. A false accuser you see so it's not some 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 <laughs> force underneath the ground with a, like I could say once again with a, a red spandex suit with horns on his head or a, a pitchfork in his hand as people would have you believe okay all right the word devil in the in the in the, in the Greek okay is Diablos Diablos okay which, which simply means false accuser, okay, or slanderer, somebody who slanders you or falsely accuse you, okay? So, um, yeah, the devil is the accuser of the brethren, okay? Now, we're going to go through the scriptures, okay, and um, prove to you who, who, who the devil is, okay? So, now... Mind you, you have you have you have you have you have devils in, 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 in many different peoples and nations. Okay, but the mean devil is the adversary, okay, um, who do the uh, 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 the bidding of the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, all right, which is the wicked, okay, which goes back to Esau. Okay, he was created to be the wicked. We're gonna get some scriptures on that, but um. We're going to start here in the book of St. John, the 8th chapter. And this is something our Lord Yahweh Shai said. And, um, okay, proving this scripture real quick. This he was, he was speaking to the wicked of our people, okay? But he was talking, he was speaking of the devil, okay, going back to Cain. Okay, so let's, let's read it. It says, St. John chapter 8 and verse 44. It says, ye are of your father, the devil. So he was speaking to the wicked of our people, just to just to, to prove the scripture. Okay, ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father he will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. 
Okay, so this is going back all the way to Cain. The, the, the law is, you know, telling our people that they are of their father the devil because the scriptures tell you how the righteous are, are more the, the righteous are more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduce at them. Okay? But like I say, he was telling them, Ye are of your father the devil, right? So this this when it, this 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 devil he's speaking of, he's he's speaking of Cain. Okay? Okay, in, in the in the beginning in ancient times, Cain. Cain was the Cain was the wicked of that day. Okay? Remember Cain slew Abel? Okay, now let's get let's get a precept real quick. Um the book of uh first John. This is the book of first John, first John chapter three and verse twelve. It says it says um I'll start at verse eleven. It says, For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, okay, from Genesis, from the beginning, right? That we should love one another, okay? It says, not as Cain, okay, not as Cain, verse 12, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one. So you see, Cain was that line where the wicked seed came through, okay? All right, remember, Abel was, Abel, Abel gave that righteous sacrifice, okay? Adam, uh, two sons, he had more than two sons, but uh, Cain represented the wicked line, okay? And uh, the, the wicked seed, and, and and Abel represented the righteous seed, but Cain slew Abel, right? And and then the, later on, the, the Lord raised up Seth to carry on the legacy of the righteousness in the earth. It says, "Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him, because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous." So, okay, Cain Cain murdered his brother. Abel, you see, he was the first murderer, first liar, all that. And that's why Yahweh Shai told them, ye are of your father the devil. See, he was calling Cain a devil, okay? Which Cain was, Cain was doing the bidding of, 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 of the spiritual demon Satan, man. You see? But going back to it, going back to, uh, uh, what's that again? Yeah, it's in John eight forty four. The point is that the law was calling him the devil. Okay. Um, um, see John uh, eight eight forty four. Uh, it's in John eight forty four. Going back to it real quick. All right, it says, "Ye have your father the devil." You see, that's that's the point. He's calling him. He's calling him. Uh, uh, the devil because devil only means false accuser or slanderer. You see? False accuser or slanderer. You see? Now, we're going to go from there. Alright? As a matter of fact, let's get Genesis. Let's get uh, let's get uh, so, you know, fast forwarding from the time of Cain and Abel, right after, okay, uh, the, the Lord raised up after Cain slew Abel, the Lord raised up Seth, okay, Enos, okay, and on down the line, keep going until you get down to, uh, you know, Noah, you know, when the Lord flood the earth, the, uh, the, the he saved eight souls, Noah, his wife, and his three sons and their wives, and they repopulate back the work the earth. So everybody on the planet right now came out of those three sons. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. But the righteous line continued through Shem. Okay. But um all right, so through Shem onto a, a fact side. Okay. Uh, and the line keep going down to Abraham. Okay. Abraham, Isaac. Uh uh Isaac had two sons, um, Esau and Jacob. And this, the whole, the Bible, uh, the Bible, the, the two main characters in the Bible is Esau and Jacob. You see? And Jacob, uh, end up, it was set up through the spirit that Jacob would get the, the birthright and the blessing. And, 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 and Esau hated him from that, for that. And, and, and from, from that, it's been ever, it's been hatred ever since. The scripture speaks about a perpetual hatred. You see? Um, but let's get Genesis a perpetual hatred what Esau has for Jacob. 
Let's get uh, uh, Genesis. Let's get Genesis. What's that? 27. We're going to read that verse real quick. Genesis 27, verse 41. It says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Now you see, remember what happened. Remember Cain. Cain slew Abel because he gave him a, 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 a better sacrifice. Okay? Fast forward into this time. Right? Like I say, the main two characters in the scriptures, okay, to play out on the earth is Esau and Jacob. Jacob said in his heart, okay, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So from that, from, from that time, it's it been on, man. Every, every different captivity we was in, they, they came up against us. Okay, when the Babylonians uh, 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 took away uh, the southern kingdom, okay, Esau was there to help them, okay? Scriptures say how they burned the temple, okay? Um, in the time of Antiochus, they forced our people to eat swine, okay? All, all manner of things. Now, stop our people from keeping their customs. You couldn't, you couldn't, uh, uh, you couldn't uh, circumcise uh, your children. All they, just, they just came up against us in all types of ways, different times. In the time of Herod, okay? speaks about putting putting uh, 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 all the uh, children under the age of I believe it was two years old okay when he was seeking uh, the Messiah all right it's so it's all in the scriptures man all right but Esau Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob so that's been, that's that's what it's been from ancient times to this very day, man. Okay, so now we're gonna get um, to show you that uh, we're gonna go to Revelation real quick. That it's not talking about that word devil. It's not talking about somebody underneath the ground, man. That's that's um, a person acting the part. <laughs> okay, metaphorically speaking, of the spiritual demon Satan, man. Okay, um, Revelation chapter 2. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It says, and this is the red letter, this is our Lord speaking, right? It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. And he shall be, and she shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay, this is coming into, this is talking about the times that we're coming into. This is a future prophecy, uh, you know, with that 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 uh, 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 so to speak, shit hit the fan. Um, uh, prophecy comes in. Okay, when when it, when 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 all hell breaks loose. Okay. You're going to be living in a time of persecution, okay? Those that those that fear the Lord, okay, and do His will, it's a time of persecution is going to come. You see, just like in times before, but it says Revelation two and ten: Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. It says, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. But it says the point is, it says the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now. The spiritual demon, the spiritual demon Satan, he not, he he cannot physically keep, uh, cast you into a prison, right? Okay. All right. The myth, the myth of a of a devil being underneath the earth, he can uh, uh, cast you into prison, right? No, is is a is a physical person or persons are gonna do that. So okay, so it says, behold, the devil. Remember, devil only means slanderer or false accuser. Okay, so let's actually go into the word to show you that <clears throat> this is why we call Esau, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil, because this is what he do. He slanders, okay, and accuses the brethren. Okay, so let's let's get this in the uh, in the in the in the Greek. 
right? In the Greek, the word is uh, diablos. All right, see that? Diablos, right? So when you go and you uh, click on it, word for devil is diablos, right? Let's read it. It says, prune, prune to slander, prune to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. This is why we call you the devil, because that's what, by definition of the word, that's what devil means, slanderer or false accuser, okay, a calumnier. A calumniator, false accuser, slanderer. And then you have the metaphor. It says, applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. You see? So, the, the spiritual demon, the spiritual demon, Satan, have his, uh, his physical counterpart on the earth. Which I do is his, his minions, the devil, okay, are in their role on the earth. You see, so now let's go back. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So. Yeah, so you see, it says the devil, only only a physical man could do that, cast you into prison. Man. A spirit cannot do that. Okay? Well, the, the spirit operates through the body. Okay? But but you get what I mean. It's not the spiritual demon. It, 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 it's a physical counterpart on the earth that's actually doing that. You see? So... From there, we're gonna get some. Uh, we're gonna get some more scriptures to prove to you, okay? Why we call Esau, okay, the devil, because the scriptures even prove it to you. All right, let's go from there. We're gonna go to. Um, we're gonna go to um, Psalms. Let's get the book of Psalms. And let's get. Uh, now remember, Psalms chapter fifty. Remember. The definition of the word devil, right? Psalms chapter 50. And we're going to start at verse 16, right? It says, but unto the wicked. Now remember, the, the scriptures tell you, uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 16 and verse 4. The Lord says, I've made all things for myself, yea, even the wicked for the day of destruction. Okay? Uh, roughly paraphrasing. It says, but I, uh, so... And we know according to Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4 that the wicked is Esau. Okay? So it says, verse 16, uh, Psalms chapter 50 verse 16 says, But unto the wicked the Most High said, What hast thou to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my word behind thee. Okay, my words behind thee. It says, verse 18, When thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest, slack, slack here, consentest with him and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou, it says, thou grievest, slack here, thy givest thy mouth to do evil and thy tongue frame it deceit. You see, that's another uh, attribute of, of Esau is deceit. He's deceitful, man. He's the deceiver. That's another reason why we call him the devil because he, he frame it deceit. Okay, verse 20, it says, thou settest Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Remember I told you the two, um, the two uh, main characters in the scriptures in the Bible is Esau and Jacob, okay? Because they came from, uh, they have the same father. They came out of Isaac, okay? So it says, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, okay? Thou slanderest thine own mother's son, okay? So remember Esau, Esau was created to be the wicked according to uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 4, all right, and verse 16. It's like it. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4, all right? And according to Malachi 1 and 4, he's the wicked. You see, so 
Remember, it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Now remember, slander is one of the words, okay, what devil means. Slanderer, right? False accuser. You see? That's why we call this man the devil. You see? Now, we're going to get, um, let's go from there. Uh, we're going to get uh, Revelation. Let's get Revelation. Let's get Revelation. The uh, Revelation, the twelfth chapter. Okay. Let's get Revelation, the twelfth chapter, real quick. It's Revelation chapter twelve. We're gonna jump in here at. Uh, we're going to jump in here at verse 10. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Amashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Now remember one of the, remember, right? The uh, Another definition of devil is false accuser false accuser you see false accuser you see Let, let's get a quick um definition right here and and, and uh, uh remember one of his attributes is deceit right it says misled deceive this is this is the meaning of deceive it says misled by false appearance or statement Okay, it says false appearance or statement. A false appearance or a false statement that that means you you are you 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 accusing falsely. You are false accuser. You being deceitful. You being a a, a a a deceiver. Okay, so right. So going back, going back to the scripture, it says. Verse 10, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10, it says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Amashiach. For the accuser, remember the devil is the accuser of the brethren, which is Esau, the wicked. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. They, they do all type of things and accuse our people, man. Okay? It says, but remember, he have a he have a perpetual hatred, okay, as as the scriptures say. You see, so because of that, let's read verse eleven, Revelation twelve and eleven. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So in the end, those that are given the victory uh, of the elect, in the end, I don't want to desire prayer. I'm of that number, and I do pray for brothers and the sisters that believe in this truth and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Okay, in the end, they are gonna get the victory, man, over. Over the devil, okay? That's the end game, okay? In the end of the movie, the elect is going to get the victory over the devil. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, our Lord Yahushai, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death, okay? Verse 12, I'm going to read verse 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and he that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil see they go the word again the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time right he know that his time is short so you're going to come down having great wrath and then we in revelation chapter 12 so like in revelation chapter 2 and verse 10 it, it, it shows you the devil shall cast some of you into prison right we, we we broke that down already so the devil only means slanderer or false accuser okay but right here, Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell there in them. Woe. Woe means destruction, man. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You see? So at the end of the day, <laughs> this devil is going to come down having great wrath, man. You see? So we know they're going to come with persecution, Okay, uh, uh, demonization and, and falsely accusing and all of these different type of stuff. All right, we already know this because it's, it's written in the scriptures. 
That's why the, that's why the scriptures say, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Be thou faithful, okay, and I will give you a crown of life." Roughly paraphrasing, okay. Um, from there, we're gonna go to. Uh, let's 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 go back and get. Let's get. Um, the meaning of deceit, uh, deceive, because one of his, other than the power, other than the power of the sword with which he was blessed with, when Isaac blessed Esau, he blessed him with the with the fatness of the earth and the sword. He told he was told by by his sword he shall live. Okay, uh, uh, Genesis Genesis twenty seven chapter. Okay, uh, 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 Genesis twenty seven chapter goes into that. Um, so let's get uh real quick. Let's get a uh, definition for 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 deceive, because the scriptures speak how how are we gonna go out to deceive the nations. It says um deceive definition. It says to cause to believe what is not true, mislead, okay, to catch by guile or ensnare, to practice deceit, okay. And remember one of his biggest attributes other than the power of the sword. Okay, is is deceit, man. He went out to deceive the nations, right? So, look, it says uh, to catch by guile, to ensnare. Yeah, he, he looked to trap you up, falsely accuse you. So, let's um, let's look at uh, let's look at uh, this word guile. Okay, guile. It says, treacherous, cunning, skillful deceit. Okay, treacherous, cunning. Cunning meaning wise. Okay, clever. Treacherous, cunning, skillful deceit. And that's how he traps you up, man. Okay, false accuser. Slanderer. The accuser of the brethren, man, is the devil. You see? So now, let's go to the scriptures. Let's go to the scripture. Let's get a uh, revelation. Let's get Revelation chapter twenty and chapter. Revelation chapter twenty. Revelation chapter twenty, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse two. It says, "And he laid hold on the dragon, the old serpent. The dragon represents the ancient Roman Empire, okay, which were all the the Edomites." Okay, it said, and laid hold on, on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound them, and bound him a thousand years. So they was cast, they, they fell out of rulership, and, and Jake, Jake came up into power. Okay, the, the Western Roman Empire fell, and the Eastern, the, which what they call the, the, the pagan Roman Empire, and the Eastern portion of it remained, and Jake was in rulership, which they called the Holy, the Holy uh, Roman Empire. Okay, it says in, in hell, and uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 2, it says, And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. So there was out of rulership. Okay, that's what you call, during the time, what they call the dark ages. Okay, it's a reason for that, because they act like they don't, they don't remember nothing of that time. But here it is, they like to try and tell you the, the, the earth go back millions of years ago. <laughs> and act as if they know what was going on. But this period of time, they don't know nothing about Jake was in rulership, man. Okay. Um, verse 3. It says, And cast him into the bottomless pit, which is Europe. Right? It says, And shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should that he should deceive the nations no more. So that's why we went into the word deceive. All right? That he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after the after that, he must be loosed a little, right? So, after that thousand years, okay, it says, so during this time, he wasn't able to go and deceive at that time, okay? You see, because Jake was in rulership, okay, for a thousand years, and then after that, they were taken down by, uh, that was, the, that was uh, what you call it there? That was the, uh, hmm, I'm trying to remember the name of it again. The Byzantine Empire, and they were taken down by the Ottoman Turks, if I'm not mistaken, um, and then and then uh, the little season he was he was the uh, he was he was uh, he came back into um, 
he was loosed, all right, and then he came he came out of his he came out of the uh, 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 the thousand year hole that he was shut up in for a thousand years. He came back during the time of what you call uh, the Renaissance, okay, the Renaissance, and they went out to to, to deceive the nation. So when you jump down, okay, here and come to the seventh verse. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 7. So during the time of um, when and Esau got back into start going out to explore again was during the time of <clears throat> what you call the, 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 the Renaissance period, which Renaissance means uh, rebirth. Okay, this when they was allowed to come back into power. It says, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. Okay, and shall go out to deceive the nations. Now when we read before verse two, okay, it says, uh, verse three, it says, <laughs> right, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should study that he should deceive the nations no more. So he couldn't deceive them because he was shut up. The Lord shut him up. Okay, but in verse eight it says, it says, and when the top seven, verse seven, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. Verse 8, it says, and shall go out to deceive the nation. So from this point, from, from the Renaissance, from from from, the, from from they came out, from the time of Christopher Columbus, <laughs> from those times until this very day, they still out deceiving the people, man. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, God and may God to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the, uh, the sign of the sea. So God today represents Russia. Okay, you can read that in uh, Ezekiel, the 30, uh, 38 chapter, where the scripture speaks about the Lord say you're going to put hooks in the jaws of God, man. Uh, may God, okay, um, <laughs> to, to, to bring together World War Three, man. All right, it's, it's, it's in the scriptures. The scriptures tell you how, Revelation, the 16th chapter, how um, you, you, you afraid this river, uh, you're afraid this river is going to dry up to make, to prepare the the way for the kings of the east, so as the scriptures tell you how it's the most I uh, 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 muster it the host of the battle. All of this is the Lord that's putting this together you know, at the end of the day. But um, that was the point, okay? That uh, 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 Esau, okay, he went out to deceive the nations, man, from from the from the Renaissance period up until now, okay. Now I'm gonna go to the book of uh, Psalms. And I'm going to end it in the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms. And we're going to read chapter 10. It's a short read. We're going to close it out. The point is verse 7, but I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? The wicked, which is, goes back to Esau, Malachi 1 and 4, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blesseth the covets, the covetous, whom the Lord abhorreth, okay, meaning to avoid. It says the wicked, through the pride of his consonants, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them, okay. It says he had said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity, right, it says, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit. You see? Look at that word again. And fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Okay? Verse 8, it says, he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are previously set against the poor. What, what, what they did against the hindermost part of uh, Israel coming out of uh, 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 ancient Egypt. Okay? They... <laughs> They, they 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 troubled our people, man. The elderly, the young. When we was leaving out of ancient Egypt, ancient, ancient Egypt, man. Okay? It says, verse 9, He lieth and waits secretly as lion, as a lion in his den. Like it says, He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. You see? You see? It says, He croucheth and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Okay, what they did when they came to the um, 
to the Native Americans, man. Okay, they came with sweet speeches, man. You see? It says, he had said in his heart, the most I had forgotten, he hid in his face, he will never see it. It says, arise, O Lord, O power, lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore, though the wicked condemned, con contemn, con condemn, contemn the most high. It says, he had said in his heart, thou wilt not require it. Thou hast, thou hast seen it, for thou Behold this mischief and spite to requite it with thy hand, the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. Yahweh is king forever and ever. Thou the heathen are perished out of his land. Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble, thou wilt prepare their heart. Thou will cause thine ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man of the earth may no more oppress. Yeah, man. So, hey. Yeah, man. Clearly, you can see the devil is the accuser of the brethren, man. So, yeah, when you hear us uh, you use that term, the devil, it only means false accuser or, 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 or slanderer, man. Okay? And once again, it's not, the devil is not, Talking about some uh, some 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 person underneath the earth with a, with a red spandex suit and a, and, a, and a pitchfork, okay, with horns. Nah, man. Speaking of uh, 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 people on the earth, okay, that doing the, the 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 bidding of the spiritual demon Satan, okay. So I'm gonna end it there, Lord, and you were edified. On to the next one, Shalom.